So how do you actually shift your awareness? How do you actually become more aware and more conscious? Everybody's talking about this major shift right now, but nobody actually know how to actually get into that place where you see everything. And you see how beautiful this world is because one way for you to understand what it actually feels like once you are aware is to imagine this for a moment. Imagine you stepping outside of your car. Get onto the highway, walk along the highway, go to the tallest building, get into the building, into the elevator, onto the top floor and overlook the city. When you overlook the city, what do you see? You see the river. You see the river that runs through the city. You see the cars that are running side by side on the highway. You see the park and you see the kids playing in the park. You also see the birds flying. You see the buildings over the other side and you see this a lot of fun happening and games happening on the other side. And then what do you have in that moment? You have choices. You have choices to say, hey, how am I gonna spend today? Am I gonna go out there? And am I going to uh, play in the park? Or am I going, gonna go out there? And I see that boat there, so maybe I'll hire a boat and take the boat out and visit that, that, that building over there. Or I may choose to go into that building, or I may choose to actually buy this house. Because now you have choices, why? Because you only have choices when you have the awareness. The biggest problem problem is a lot of us were living inside of this car, this like kind of one dimensional box where we kind of can't see anything at all. And the choices we have around us is only very, very limited. That's no wonder why a lot of people, when they get to their choice, their goal, the thing that they thought was their goal, they're actually left not satisfied and thinking, hmm, what next? What is my purpose in life? And if you've ever felt that way before, the reason behind it is because your goal was not actually your goal. In fact, the goal you're thinking about now is not your goal either because we only have goals based on what we know. What does this mean? It means that your goals is down to our social conditioning and people around us telling us this is right, this is wrong. You should be this, you shouldn't be that. Maybe try to be a lawyer, don't be a painter, you know? And they tell us what is right and wrong and then that makes us and what we think is our goal. So how do we actually find our true purpose and why we are actually in this world? We can only find it once we have awareness. So what does this mean? You need to learn the strategy of getting out of the car, into the tall building, into the elevator, right to the top and overlook everything. Then you see the bigger picture. And what does it feel like when you get to that type of shift? That feeling, every one of you, have actually experienced before. The more awareness you have, the more conscious you become, the more beautiful life is. And a lot of people ask me today, they say, Eric, why are you so happy all the time? Very simple, because the more I go down this journey, the more aware I become, the more choices and the way that things connect together and how easy life actually is and happiness actually is and goals actually are it becomes more and more beautiful. So the feeling you've actually felt before that you could relate to, if any of you have ever been hiking before or you've been on the top of a building before, you overlook the city and the city's looking beautiful. You look over the city or you look over the lakes and you look over the mountains and you say, wow, isn't that beautiful? That is what that place of bliss feels like. Now you see everything, it becomes so beautiful. and. How many stages are there to this consciousness? There are so many that it'll scare you at one point. Why? Because on this trek up the mountain, if you've been hiking before, you will go one hour, you'll overlook the view, you'll say, wow, this is amazing. You'll probably take a photograph. Then what will happen is you carry on trekking. You will carry on trekking another two hours. You'll then overlook and say, whoa, this is crazy. You'll take another photo. Five, six hours later, you get to the top, you look over and you say, OMG, you take a photo. And most likely, all the other photos you took before, you will never post. Why? Because that was nothing in comparison to what you see at the top. That is awareness. That is consciousness. The more conscious you become, the more in this blissful state you become. So the question really is, how do you get there? If you want me to make a video on how to get there, I'm only messing with you. Let's give you one simple strategy in terms of how to get there. And I want you to type this in the comments below. 
Those of you who are used to my video know the drill. Okay, those of you who are new to this video, comment below. We always comment our learnings below to reaffirm the learning on a subconscious level. Type this, take myself out of context. This is a message to every single one of you. What I found throughout my journey, every single time I've taken myself out of context, out of my comfort zone, whether it's in a relationship, if you're looking for a change, you gotta break the relationship to start a new relationship. Some of you in a job thinking you wanna start a business, stop thinking about it. You gotta break the job before you can start the business. There's this saying saying that when your cup is full, stop pouring. The biggest problem is a lot of people have a full cup right now. You're occupied, your brain, your energy is occupied with what you are doing and you are hoping for something else to come in. But there's this understanding. Once you understand that, hey, if you let go and you clear that space, although there will be chaos at that time and that's why you fear it so much, but if you dare to clear that space out of comfort zone, right? Break that pattern, the thing that you are most used to, then you will clear the space for new things to come into your life. That is when you start shifting your awareness and taking your life to new heights. Always understand the magic that you are looking for in your life is outside of your comfort zone. So my question to you is this, what action are you prepared to take outside of your comfort zone to make this happen for you? comment below. Let me know your thoughts. Also, if you've enjoyed this video and it's been of any use to you whatsoever, hit the thumbs up, hit the like button. And finally, if you're new to this channel, remember, remember to hit that subscribe button and the notifications button next to it because this year I'm dedicated to making daily videos to hold you accountable to make 2018 your best year yet. But for now, guys, <laughs> ciao.